the number of people... This annual lecture series is a convergence of top military officers, seven ministers, ambassadors, men and women of the army and government officials. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tori Lagbaja, leads the procession into the hall with the Minister of Defense, all the senior officers and top government functionaries. <laughs> Director General of the Nigerian Army Resource Center, Major General Garba Wahab, retired, sets the tone for the conversation. This particular program is meant to look at the national issues, and that's why we are starting with the Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Let him look at the roles of the armed forces in national security and national interest. Time for the Chief of Army Staff to take to the podium for his maiden lecture. In his paper, he lists some of the challenges to the optimal performance of the armed forces of Nigeria. The three arms of the armed forces of Nigeria are inadequately manned, which applies to other security agencies. In a country of 226 million people, it is impossible for the totality of security agencies of about 2 million, or the armed forces of Nigeria, about 200,000 active personnel, without a reserve force, to secure the entire populace. Despite these challenges, he allows the performance of the army in attainment of national security and interest. The armed forces of Nigeria has displayed progress amid adversities and has striven to mitigate and transform its internal structures, training, procurement, and acquisition of modern weapons, among others, to respond to the varied security threats in the nation and abroad. The Minister of Defense, Mr. Mohammed Abubakar, speaks on the efforts by the federal government in addressing these challenges. I want to assure you all that President Ahmed Bola Tunimbu is passionate about the development of security in our nation. And he will definitely do his best to work on those challenges so mentioned today. Despite the humongous challenges, the armed forces of Nigeria still perform their functions, playing a pivotal role in safeguarding national interests and the nation. Benny Ark, Channels Television News.